morning, so a really quick vlog. Um, I am heading to uh, the bus stop near the church. Um, we've got today, it's a big day today. I have, um, it's like a 12 hour tour booked for uh, the West Coast, the Northwest Coast, um, which I'm really excited about. We see some pretty cool places and some sort of iconic places from like you would have seen if people have been to Iceland, they've been here. Um, and then as soon as I get back, I then get on another bus and go out and Northern Lights hunt again. Um, tonight is looking very good. Um, last night it ended up getting really good. Um, like I could almost see them with my eye from outside my apartment here in the city center. Um, so that was cool. I, you know, sort of handheld some photos out that way and you could see a bit of a green hue. So I feel like if you were set up properly, you'd be able to see it. And if you were out where we went, which was outside of the city where there's no light pollution, you would have seen them really well last night, um, which is cool. But I decided to, I didn't want to go out again last night and get home late because I had to be up early today. Like it's still, it's still very dark outside. You can't even see it in the door. Um, it's very dark outside still because the sun doesn't rise here till like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, I had to get up a bit earlier and I just didn't want to be too tired today. So going to do it tonight. Um, if for whatever reason I miss out again tonight, even though it's supposed to be really clear, supposed to be high activity, um, hopefully during my tour time, I'll be able to um, see some. And if not, I've got three days back in Reykjavik after the tour finishes that I'll have time to rebook that trip. So yeah, fingers crossed, but today's gonna be a big one. Started at 6.45 a.m. And he's going to finish at probably like 1am. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a long day. But I'm excited and I've got my cameras fully charged. Free memory, like everything's good to go. So I'm hoping I can capture some pretty cool stuff today. fresh um we're currently at seal beach which is um there's no seals they're they're migrating now uh, we might see one if we're lucky oh my god it's so windy <laughs> i'm gonna blow off the cliff um but it's gorgeous there's like mountains and everything um and the beach just here <gasps> my i didn't put my gloves on my gloves are in the in the bus um but oh my gosh this is amazing and it, hopefully i can get close to a nice atlantic sheep um because they're furry and fluffy um and they don't have any natural predators here so they can actually um let me just swap my hands my hands are freezing um they have no natural predators so they can just roam about anywhere here which is really cool um so yeah One little seal. He's out on this little bit of rock. There he is. Dancing around. Um, it's 
It's the only one we can spot. on this time but we're at the black church um which was built in 17 something um but it is like the only black church um and the lady got permission to paint in black um from the church association um and yeah it just sort of stands alone it's not open you can't actually go in they only open it for like weddings and baptisms and stuff um, but there's a very cute, well, cute, but you know, it's a, there's a, a little graveyard next to it. It's surrounded by this stone wall, um, and it's just in the middle of all these mountains, and it's just gorgeous. Um, it's very picturesque, and uh, the weather today is lovely. Um, it's a bit cloudy, but it's a beautiful light, and yeah, it's just stunning. It's very, very picturesque. So. Um, yeah, worth coming out here for, um, in amongst the grass fields, you know. Um, and then over the back here is, where is it? There? There? No. There. That is a crater. And all of this rubble along here is um, from a old, it's, it's an old volcano. Um, so it's like the lava field. So all of this is all dried up lava. Um, and it's all now rock and rubble but yeah it's really cool it sort of just spreads out um and then that's the massive crater it's very cool Atlantic lamb soup, Icelandic, not Atlantic, um, lamb soup that I've gotten for lunch. It looks like a like a soup, lamb soup stew with some bread, um, which it smells really good. Um, and it's one of the things to try here, so I'm trying it. Um, but it is, uh, this is probably one of the cheaper things in this restaurant, and it was 26,000 kruna. Um, Krona, which is uh, it converted in Aussie dollars to around 26 Aussie dollars for the bowl of soup. Um, it smells delicious, it looks delicious, but um, it's probably the most expensive soup I've ever bought. <laughs> but yeah. It's, yum. It's, it's like a winter lamb soup, it's delicious. just finished lunch was delicious don't know if it was worth the 28 Aussie dollars for it though um, but we're now at this little fishing village um, and we're doing a walk that will go um, along the coastline and end up at the other end where our bus is waiting um, so yeah that's gonna be nice the Sun has come out the wind has calmed down or at this point the peninsula that's less windy potentially um, but we're just walking up well I am just walking up to um, this statue which is half man half I can't remember what he said rock it's, it's made out of rock um, and I think it's supposed to represent the archways that are naturally formed along the coast now because of the volcanic um, all the volcanic rock that hit the ocean and then froze and yes yeah, these special arches they've now made um, but oh yeah it has a face on it when I get closer I'll show you but yeah that's where I'm walking to now so he's the guardian spirit 
um, that watches over the land. And this is him. I don't know if it's going to focus. Yeah, I can't see the face. I'll film it on my other camera. Um, but also, I spoke too soon. I need to put my gloves on about two seconds after filming the last video as the wind has now picked up. This is a glacier capped old volca volcano and like all of this moss area all the way along and then like across here all of these mounds it's all um, lava fields which is very cool um, yeah it's very very cool it's 900,000 years old it's nearly a million years old it hasn't erupted in over nearly a million years but through an old lava field which is very cool um, it's all this black sand beach which has all these pebbles which have rounded off over many many years of erosion um, but the rock is so cool and there's a one of the archway things that I was talking about earlier where it's like naturally formed um, through the archway actually that's really a cool shot I'm just looking from here trying to get the peak of the mountain through the circle from here it might actually look quite cool I don't know if you can see that but the snow or the the cap is through the through there um, but anyway that's where we are currently um, there's also a famous shipwreck at this beach so I'm gonna go check that out as well. Um, it's nice and not windy here. Having said that, I jinxed myself before. Um, but this is very cool. So on this beach, there's pieces of shipwreck like the whole way along. Just different pieces of steel. And I think it's probably from multiple boats um, over the years it's just heaps of it it's amazing
puffed because I climbed all the way up these stairs to the top of an extinct volcano. Well, it erupted 9,000 years ago to look into the crater. Um, it's very cold again, but we can look in. probably cannot hear me at all because I'm talking right into the microphone but then all of this so these are all old craters as well but this whole field is all it's a lava field um, so literally all the way to the ocean all the stuff covered in moss is literally old dried lava um, it's amazing and like we're standing on the stone now um, there's obviously bigger pieces and like the further down you go is bigger pieces but up here there's a lot of smaller stuff but it's just it's so cool it's freezing but it's cool fans know as Arrowhead or Arrowhead Mountain it's not gonna focus hopefully it focuses um, but it's called Church Mountain um, there is an Icelandic name for it and Icelandic I keep saying Ice Icelandic but it should be Icelandic um, name for it which I'm not going to pronounce because again the words here and the language here is quite challenging but um, it's like right on a bay it's right on sunset um, and it's just stunning it's the most photographed mountain in all of Iceland um, there is a couple of little waterfalls where this water runs from um, to get the shot of the waterfalls in front of the mountain which is really cool um, so I've just been taking photos of that was hoping that the pink in the sky would hit the clouds behind the top of the mountain um, but I think it's sort of too far or there's a ridge covering the mountain uh, the clouds that are behind this mountain to get the pink color um, who knows I know as soon as I get back to the bus <laughs> it'll go bright pink in the sky um, but still I think I got a good shot um, it took a lot of shots um, filling up my memory card and I've still got to shoot um, hopefully the northern lights tonight <clears throat> but yeah it's just stunning like everywhere here is so picturesque and just so beautiful and if you can you, you need to come to Iceland I know from Australia it's literally the opposite side of the world but it is totally worth it like just everywhere here is stunning and so different um, and yeah highly recommend it's been a very good day so far You can just see, I'm going to overexpose it, this one, there is, this is the church here and you can just see the northern lights coming through. Oh, 
Oh my god. I've just got back from going and seeing the Northern Lights. Um, it is currently 12 past 12, um, which is actually quite early to be coming back from the Northern Lights. But we all left early because as we were driving out, you could start seeing them. My nose is so red. As you were driving out, you could start seeing them. And so um, the guide told the bus driver to pull over at this earlier stop than the one we were going to go to um, just because they were already so active and with northern lights it can be risky in that they might only be around for five minutes ten minutes you know they they might just that glimmer might have happened and then that's it for the night so they were like no we need to stop as soon as possible um, so we did and this light show of lights went for like the whole two hours we were out there like it was constant it was constantly changing and then it got to a there was a couple of points where it was like dancing they're like it's dancing it's dancing um which was amazing and it does like it literally flows like so fast it's not just sort of like slowly doing it it's like waving through the sky um and then it like was starting to curve around and there was like these arches and waves and it was just unbelievable like anything i've ever imagined about seeing them happened tonight and like it was amazing and so on the bus i was sat next to one of our guides um his name was thor he was really lovely he taught me thank you and a few other words in icelandic so tuck it's like danish or norwegian because that's where they get their language from anyway sidetracking even Thor had said, he's like, I have never seen the lights like this ever. And he has lived in Iceland all his life. Um, and he is like, it's, they've never, like, they were so active tonight. Um, he said he's seen them before brighter or more vibrant in color. Um, and that kind of thing but he's like this was constant and it was like everywhere you know it was all across the site no matter where you looked tonight you could see them like right above you across like every which way it was just unbelievable and like something would happen and you'd be like photographing it i was like taking photos and whatnot and then i would turn and then there was something else happening in the sky and it was just oh it was just so special and something that I'm not gonna forget for a very, very long time. I did a time-lapse. So I had like my big camera, I was obviously taking photos of, um, trying to take as many photos as I possibly could. Um, and then I put this little this little camera on, um, it's on a gorilla pod and I put it on the fence post and just shot it towards a part where there was activity and just left it on a time-lapse. Um, I wish I'd kept it on a time lapse from the beginning, but there were people standing at the fence post. So once they moved away, I set it up kind of thing. Um, but oh my God, it was just, it was amazing. Um, so yeah, I've done a little time lapse and I caught some videos. I tried to, tried to video it waving. It was harder to video because um, you need to set the right exposure and whatnot. Um, whereas with, a photo a still photo you can have the shutter speed open a uh, shutter open longer so you capture it kind of thing um but oh my god it was just perfect so i'm so glad i rebooked i looked at the you know the maps of what things what the lights were going to be doing and whatnot and i booked it for tonight rather than last night um they said yeah the lights were out last night and they were like active but tonight was definitely the better night so Oh, I'm so glad I did and um, <clears throat> it was everything and more and you can see it from the city 
So before we even got on the bus to go out there, you could see the lights across the front of the church here. So I took a couple of quick snaps of that, but they just weren't as vivid and whatnot because we were in the city and you've got the light pollution. But this was like out, we were out in the middle of this national park and it was just, oh, oh, so special. I'm just so happy and yeah, it's, that's been on the top of my bucket list for so long. So I can now tick that off the top of my bucket list. That was my number one thing to do in my life on my bucket list and I've done it. So I'm so happy and I just hope I can witness more like that over the coming weeks because, oh my God, it was just so special. So yeah, it's my night and I'm gonna go to bed so happy. Okay, so this is how cold it was last night. I was like so laid up, but when we were coming back, as you can see, the table is like iced over. It's a lovely morning. I'm checking out of my little apartment today and heading to the hotel where the tour starts from tomorrow. So we have the first night included and we have like a meet and greet night tonight um, from like six o'clock. So that'll be good. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be sharing, I think I'll be sharing a room with someone. Um, that's kind of the, the tour norm. Um, so who knows? Who knows if there's not another individual girl traveling, then I might get my own room. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if tonight I'm sharing with them straight away or whether we get our own room for tonight and then once we're on the tour we share. I'm not sure. Um, but that's where I'm at. I'm now just packing everything up because I've been here for four days, five days. I've um, settled in. So, and I've just, you know, used different bags for different things. So I've literally just unpacked things out of my backpack and just put them on the table to use the backpack. And then, yeah, I now need to repack it all. So that's fun. I've got another hour and a bit um, before checkout. So I'm, yeah, just madly packing and organizing stuff. And then I'll walk to the new hotel, drop my stuff off and then explore for the day. I'm not sure what I'll get up to. I haven't got anything booked. I think I'll just sort of explore. I haven't really booked too much this first few days. I've just sort of explored and done a couple of things that aren't included on the tour. Um, but I also have three days in Reykjavik at the end. So I'm hoping that there might be other people from the group that want to go and do a few different activities and then we can do it sort of all together rather than me just doing it by myself, which is okay. But um, yeah, I like going, like if we are going to the Blue Lagoon or something like that, I'd like to go with other people. Um, it's just a bit more fun. So anyway, um, worst case scenario, no one else wants to go. I'll still do it by myself, but I'm just allowing that bit of time to do it if other people want to. So yeah, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. That's my day. So my battery's quite, my battery is flashing, so I need to be quick. But I just wanted to mention that these little guys, it's a Joby Gorilla Pod. This is like a small one that I use for my vlogging camera. But this came in handy last night. I literally wrapped my camera around a little fence post and left it on as a time lapse for the Northern Lights. Um, but just wanted to, a little shout out of appreciation um, that this thing has come in handy more times than not. Um, and it's just a good little piece of equipment. If anyone wants um, any tips on, yeah, things to, to have in your bag, I think one of these is great. And you can get like a phone attachment if you want, but if you want to capture like the Northern Lights, you need a slow exposure, so you need a tripod. Um, and this you can literally wrap around anything. You can even put it on the ground as a little tripod. Um, but yeah, it's also doubles as a handheld handle if you want to vlog or anything like that. But just thought I would, uh, mention it because yeah it's it's a handy little piece of equipment that I think people should if they don't know about it should know about it but I think most people do know about these um, yeah so I've just dropped my bags off and I've come down to the water and it is such a clear morning I mean it was clear last night and that's why we could see the northern lights but this is just stunning like it's so clear it's a little windy down by the water also there is ice all over the rocks which means it's cold plus there is now snow on the tops of the mountains that we can see um, but right over there that tiny little peak 
there. Oh, it's not going to focus. So that tiny little peak way over in the distance, I am pretty sure, I could be wrong, um, that that is the big polar ice cap that we saw yesterday. Um, the big one that's like 900 million years old. Um, our guide said on a clear day, you can see it clearly from Reykjavik. So I think that could be it because it's in the direction of, um, and it's massive. So I think it could be, I could be completely wrong and this could be utter crap, <laughs> but yeah, it is such a lovely morning. And I'm so just, oh, I'm still buzzing from last night. Like. It, to tick that off the bucket list and for it to be so incredible and for like even the locals to say it was one of the best they've ever seen is massive um, so yeah just absolutely buzzing that it was oh yeah yeah I'm very happy right now because I've checked out of my room I've come and got another pastry from Braun Broad Broad B-R-A-U-D Broad and Co. They are really really good. And a coffee from the Reykjavik is it Reykjavik Roasters I think coffee roasters. Um it's really good. Expensive but really good. I mean everything is here. But oh flat white delicious um, it was 760 krona, which is like $7.60 Australian, um, and then the pastry was 590. Yeah, 590 krona. So, I mean, yeah. But I'm now just chilling by the church because, yeah, I just want to sit outside, enjoy the fresh air and the nice weather while I can, um, because I know it's going to be go 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 for the next few days. that we're staying at for our first night in um, Reykjavik and it's got two single beds so I'm not sure I feel like tonight I could be sharing with someone I don't know I've got both keys though <laughs> the guy checked me in and he said yeah you've just got to meet everyone downstairs at six o'clock I was like okay cool he's like your room is ready here are the keys I don't know there's two keys so I'm not sure I might have a room here I might not but the view is amazing I can see the whole harbour um, there's those well, you can't see it in the camera but there's the mountains with the snow on the top um, from this morning and yeah if the northern lights come out tonight and the sky is clear the view from here will be amazing um, but oh and I've just noticed the top of this roof has got all volcano stone on the top of it I'm not sure why it might be to help with snow and weather I'm not sure but anyway checked in um i'm just gonna chill out now until six o'clock because i feel very sleepy i had a big day yesterday and only about five hours sleep so i think i'm just gonna chill out and um yeah see how it all goes mm -hmm. 